Um, hmm. God be with me because I really need to speak to my followers in the right way about this topic. Um, guys, I'm making this video because I've reached a point at 25 years old as a gay 25 year old black man who is family oriented, love oriented, friendly, somewhat socially awkward, but caring and fun and intelligent and silly and goofy, but confused and disheartened and empty and a little without. I'm not sure as a gay man if I understand men. I'm not sure if men understand men. And you know what? I have to be on both sides of it and say that It's not that women don't go through the same things that we go through as gay men, but there's a different level of it because being in love in the gay community, and I don't know if it's a Southern thing or if it's just a social media thing or if it's universal, the gay community, when we say that we're in love, when we get to that point, I'm not sure what that looks like inside. Like when, when a person says I, I'm in love, what does that look like inside? Like, because I feel that in a sense, the gay community's love, if they are in another relationship, is based off of glamour. There's glamour based off of what you look like, what you have, what you own, all these materialistic aspects, sex, so many things that that are not youthful, you know, because we, we you can have a youthful spirit, but you're not going to be young forever. And I'm just not sure if right now, at this point in my life, how... Oh, and I don't want to say it, but I have to be honest. I'm not sure how optimistic I am anymore. You know, I try to give my friends the best advice that I can think of. But at this point right now, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know what the state of gay relationships are. I don't even know if there's a such thing as a gay relationship. Because, you know, someone said something tonight to me that makes so much sense. It's not about keeping a man. I mean, excuse me. It's not about finding a man. It's about keeping him. And I'm not sure if gay men are built to be kept. I feel like we're like chapters. And you only get so many chapters. You only get so many pages in a chapter. And with all that seems to be a part of our lifestyle, quote unquote, you know, people use that terminology lifestyle. I'm not sure if the foundation of where we are as men is built to be, hopefully if we were created in a situation where we had a mother and a father or just a mother or someone there to teach us what love was, I'm not sure if we know what that is for each other. We know what it is for our sisters and our brothers and our mothers and our fathers and that union that you have as a family. But I'm not sure if we know what that is once we get in a relationship or once we get in a dating situation or once we start to develop feelings for another guy. We're so big on calling each other thirsty which, which means that, you know, you're doing too much or you're giving him too much or 
you need to look more prideful. You need to not put yourself out there. Don't say, hey, just look. Where does this mentality come from? Where we don't give each other permission to engage each other. And we, and if we do, we make you feel ashamed of that. Where sex defines whether I talk to you the next day or not. What are we building? What foundations do we build? Here I am writing a book about gay relationships and wanting to be in a relationship. Yet, I feel like Gay relationships are the makings of a disaster. Where are we? Where are we? Empty, disheartened, and without. That's how I feel when it comes to dating I just don't know. I know I'll get in a place eventually again where I feel optimistic and it might be tomorrow. But right now, in this very moment, the hopes I have for gay relationships are slim to none. And I thank God for the examples that we have of, of men my own age that are getting married. But how can I think about getting married right now when I can't even get a guy to commit to talking? <laughs> and I know my brothers out there hear me right now. So I really just want to hear from you. I need some feedback right now because I, I, I need to know that I'm not alone in my thoughts. Hit me up. Peace.